So guys, I'm just gonna make a, a short video on my car. I've got a DPF issue on it. So. All right. I've got a DPF issue on my car. And uh, I'm gonna be sharing with you how I'm gonna sort this out. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to sort it out. Or if I will sort it out, but we'll find out, yeah. So the DPF cleaner I'll be using is a JML one. Recommended to me by someone. It's a diesel. DPF so I got a DPF issue on it yeah so I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this part up and I'm gonna put my DPF oh, cleaner in there let's see how this goes uh. so I've got it all opened up and uh, that's why I'm gonna put it in you see it's, it's a bit dirty Right guys, I've cleaned the edges on it and I've put a torch on just to have a look at inside, but it doesn't look that dirty. But having said that, uh, obviously it can be deceiving. So let's carry on. So what I'm gonna do is right, put the spray in, JMO, and I'm gonna spray inside there and I'm gonna wiggle it around. And let's see how that goes. So more or less finish the whole bottle. And we're gonna leave it on for about five, 10 minutes. Leave it in there, okay? Then I'm gonna start the car and run it for about five minutes and we'll see what happens. Do you remember that screwdriver? My cheap and cheerful screwdriver. Look at the amazing job it does for me. So that's secure, screwed it in, put the DPF cleaner in. Man, working on cars is hard work, man. Look, you know, you gotta bend your back on this. Oh! So we're gonna, I think it's been about a good five minutes. I'm gonna start it up and see what happens. Right, guys, I put the chemical in. I'm gonna start it up. I'm not expecting the light to go off. I'm gonna get that, uh, I'm gonna do that later, but let's see if there's any soot coming out of it and if he's done any job. So it's been about five minutes. Let's see what happens here. Yeah? Let's start it up. Right. So pretty neutral. And then let's live. See the music's coming out of it. And if that's not the problem, we're gonna have to. Hi hey guys, now it's been a couple of days since I've done that DPF clean. Uh, it's been about two days. I've taken it out for a drive on the motorway. I haven't done too much of a drive, just about five miles, one, one junction to another junction back. And anyway, today I've just checked it out. The DPF uh, warning light is gone. It's gone. And uh, what I was going to do today, I was going to reset it with the reset that I removed that light from my diagnosis machine. So I was going to remove the light, but it's gone anyway. So I think that DPF clean done the job. Right now, it just needs a fluid washer, a water washer fluid for the screen. Just needs that one top tire in a bit. 
But uh, that's how I done my DPF clean, and it's done the job. It's all right. If he was gonna stay on the light, and I was gonna clean it, I was gonna reset the uh, reset the warning light. And if that light came back on, I was thinking about changing the sensor. But thankfully, the light's gone. Uh, the warning light's gone, and I think I've cleaned the DPF on it as well. So the so that's how you do a DPF clean on these cars. It's not something I do professionally. I'm still a gas gas engineer. I repair boilers, but this is just a little hobby on the side, and I thought I'll have a go. It's done the job, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, keep smiling, stay positive, and don't forget to like and subscribe.